Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a certain DNA molecule has base ratio of adenine and guanine to cytosine and thymine as 0.81. Is this molecule single-stranded or double-stranded? Explain. And in order to solve this problem we have to use Charkov's rule and this rule states that number of purines in any double-stranded DNA would equal to number of pyrimidines. And more specific, number of adenines always uh, would equal to number of thymines and number of cytosine also would equal to number of guanines. And let's imagine, for example, that we have uh, 20% number of adenines uh, that means that we also should have 20% number of thymines. 20 plus 20 would give us 40%, then the rest 60% have to be cytosine and guanine. So that means that uh, we should have 30% of cytosine and 30% of guanine. Another example would be once again, adenine with pair with thymine and cytosine with pair with guanine. This time, let's say that adenine would make 17%. That means that thymine also would make another 17%. And together, these two bases would make in double stranded DNA 34%. That means that uh, another 66% would be made by cytosine and guanine. That means that uh, cytosine would make 33% and guanine would make another 33%. And together these four bases would make 100% if DNA double-stranded. Now let's return to our question. Uh, we are told that uh, ratio of adenine and guanine to cytosine and thymine is 0 0.81. So we have adenine and guanine. So here is the adenine and guanine and cytosine and thymine. So here is the cytosine and thymine. So if our DNA is double-stranded, what we are going to have? We have to add adenine and guanine and we are going to get 50. And we have to divide by cytosine and thymine. So 50 divided by 50, we are going to get 1. Now another example. Once again, if we add adenine and guanine, if we add thymine and cytosine, we are going to get 50 divided by 50. Once again, uh, we are going to get one. Any number divided by itself is going to be 1. But here we see 0 0.81. This tells us that this is not double-stranded DNA, but single-stranded DNA. For example, if DNA would be single-stranded, then we may get different ratios. Uh, for example, we may have adenine, 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 cytosine, cytosine, cytosine. Uh, adenine, cytosine, cytosine, adenine, adenine, and guanine. As you see, we do not have thymine here at all. We have only one guanine, two cytosines, uh, sorry, five cytosines, and we have three, four, six adenines. So, uh, in this single-stranded DNA, we do not have the same ratios as in double-stranded DNA. But just take a look what is going to happen if I will add another strand of the DNA. And now we are going to have thymine here, thymine here, thymine here, guanine here, guanine here, guanine here, thymine and guanine, guanine, thymine, thymine and cytosine. Now we have uh, once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six adenines here. We don't have adenines here, so six adenines, so six adenines, and this is not a percent. This is going to be uh, this time uh, absolute numbers. So we have six adenines. That means that we should have also six zymines. One, two, three, four, five, six. And as you see, we have six zymines. And let's count number of uh, cytosines. One, two, three, four, five. And six here. So we have six cytosines. And let's count number of guanines. And we have one guanine here. Two, three, four, five, six. So we also have uh, six guanines. And that tells us that uh, here, once again, we have a ratio that is going to follow Chargaff's rule. 6 plus 6 is going to be 12. And if we divide by 6 plus 6, which is also would make 12, we are going to get 1. So, because we do not uh, have 1 here, we can say for certain that this is single-stranded DNA. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.